Hey, hi, kids. I am Miss Grayson. Hi, guys. Miss Elkins. Okay, so we are going to give you instructions for what you will be completing in class today. Um, for a warm up on a separate sheet of paper, my class, you will not be doing this in your day books, but on a separate sheet of paper, you are going to review vocabulary words that we started in the beginning of the school year. You remember infuse? Do you remember the word propel and the word plot? Well, those are the three words you're going to be working with. I want you to write a paragraph about those three words. You need to incorporate those three words in your paragraph and tell how they fit into the whole scheme of what we've learned so far. Again, these do not go in your day books. These go on a separate sheet of paper. Okay, substitute. Please press pause until students have completed this portion of the assignment. And welcome back. Okay, what you are going to do is a group activity called Ring Around the Story. This does not mean that you run around the classroom playing, a, playing Ring Around the Rosie. This is Ring Around a Story. So basically, each student is going to get a story that only has the beginning sentence or maybe a beginning two sentences. Okay, you're going to arrange yourselves in groups of four. Do not have a group that is more than four. Okay, once you get into groups of four, you are going to arrange yourselves maybe in the corners of the room or if you want to do stations at desks, okay? So, once you get your story starters, you are going to create one sentence that carries on that story. Group member number two is going to be creating a sentence as well. Same thing with group number three, group member three and four. After you create that one sentence, you switch papers. And you write the next sentence. Oh, she wrote about the dog going to the store. Well, I'm going to say the dog broke its leg on the way to the store. She added her part. I added my part. So we switch. And I look at what she wrote and I continue the story. So basically, you are rotating stories in your group amongst your four group members. Okay? You are going to do that for five to seven minutes. Substitute. Please make sure that you time to make sure the students do not go beyond five to seven minutes. Ten minutes at max, okay? Once you have done that for ten minutes and the substitute calls time, you will rotate to another group who has a different set of stories. So, it's kind of like within your group you're having a rotation. When the substitute calls time, leave those stories at your station. You and your group go to another station, pick up the previous group's stories, and rotate and write, just like you did in your own group, okay? Do you want to? Do not take the stories that you have in your group to the next center, because those stories the next group will work on. Right. So leave your stories at your station. When the sub calls time, just move your bodies, not your stories. When you get to the next station, you pick up where the previous group left off. So what is this for? What are you doing? You're creating a story as a class, okay? Some might come out silly. Some might come out a little weird. Some might come out serious. It's up to you. Just make sure that you stay on topic when you are creating your stories, okay? Substitute. If students are having difficulty understanding this part of the lesson, please press repeat. Or if they understand what they are to do, please make sure students are arranged into groups with no more than four and that they carry out the assignment correctly. Please press pause until students have finished this portion of the assignment. Okay, and welcome back. You have just completed the ring around the story activity. Hopefully you all had a good time with it. All right, so what you are going to do last is using a sheet of paper. We want you to write a response about the activity that you did. Now that you have completed the ring around and story, explain how this activity has enhanced, it's a vocabulary word, enhanced your ability to develop characters, organize plots, and create a descriptive setting. Okay, I'll say that again. You're basically reflecting on what you just did. In your reflection, I want you to write about... I have Okay, so once again, just to reiterate what we said that you will, be, what you will be doing for your last part of this assignment, you're going to be reflecting on the ring around the story activity that you just completed. You are going to 
write about how the activity has enhanced or how it has developed your ability to come up and create a full character, how it has enhanced your ability to organize plot, and how it has enhanced your ability to create a descriptive setting, okay? When you write your reflections, make sure that it is at least three paragraphs, at least three paragraphs long, okay? And once you have completed that, you will be good to go for the day. Uh, my students, you may get a book from the library in class. Do not go downstairs, or you may read um, one of your AR books, or you can draw silently. For my students, you can go get your independent reading book. Um, quickly and quietly if you have not gotten it already and have a seat and you know the expectations for independent reading silent at your desk for today all right and we will see you soon please be on your best behavior